Hello YouTube, welcome to EV Guy Canada. I am the EV Guy and this is my Tesla. And we're taking a little bit of a different drive. I'm going out for dinner and we're heading downtown. So I'm going from Canada where my office is, uh, downtown to meet my wife and an old friend for dinner. And we will see how beta 10.12.2 does and let's see nah, I've got to take over here so I probably could have intervened rather than disengaging uh, but I waited to see what uh, beta was gonna do there and it just takes too long it, it it needs to get into this road much more quickly so diving straight into uh, into issues leaving the office so anyway um, this here is my latest iteration of the FSD beta tracker I have two new people uh, working with me now um, helping test the development of this so originally Elias Martinez from FSD beta tracker uh, the community tracker has been helping me and now we have Si the Kaz from Cyberlift and as well as Gray Tesla Victoria that uh, that are also now using this. Uh, uh, Gray Tesla Victoria has actually started using it in his videos. So shout out to uh, to you guys. Thanks for joining on and testing it and and helping uh, bring this thing to life. Uh, we're at the stage now where when you enter data in here. Um, and you hit save at the end it saves to the database and um, we've provided the option so this is something that people will choose whether or not to do uh, you can say you can share your data with the FSD beta community tracker that Elias built um, so right now obviously that's what we're doing sharing our data so because uh, I don't I haven't built any reporting tools yet right now it's just about collecting and saving the data um, so I have some more, lots more work to do to build it out, but in the meantime, uh, those of us that are using it to test it are able to, con to contribute to the uh, beta tracking community. So it's all here. Uh, not a whole lot of new functionality probably since my last video. Uh, one thing I did notice though, uh, this was a, a direct benefit of of having more people Tesla this was that um, wow that was that was close on the red light um, technically it was okay it was still yellow when I went into the intersection but that was a bit sketch anyway um, I'm not gonna track it because it was actually okay um, so yeah one of the benefits of having more people helping test this um, so Bernard from Gray Tesla uh, Victoria uh, was having issues with his data connection. And I've built this specifically so that you don't have to maintain a data connection the entire time you're driving. All When you're going and you, you're registering issues, that's all being saved locally in your browser. But you do need a connection when you start the drive, when you mark it as finished, and when you save it because uh, it's got to interact with the web server right um, at that point so I'm going to intervene here because I was not in the lane I need oh wait I am in the lane darn it okay so that's a me error not a Tesla not a beta error and so all of this going on here guys that's me I was assuming that I needed to go there out of habit and in reality I need to take this one. So beta didn't make a mistake. I made a mistake. So yeah. So uh, so Gray Tesla was having issues um, state, sa starting and saving when his his mobile connection was dropping, and so that was a problem. So what I what I did last night is I built out a system so that you can actually see now a status of whether you're online or not so if you lose your your connection to the internet that will say offline 
and it'll disable the buttons. The, well, just the, um, the specific buttons that we need to work with the internet, right? So your start button, your finish button, and your save button will all be disabled uh, if you don't have a connection. So one of the other things that we want to, I am going to work on, again, suggestion from the guys, is this is hard, obviously, well, you, when you're watching on YouTube, watching a recording of the screen, you can't see these details very well. So I'm going to rework the layout a little so that you can see those better at a glance. So a uh, quick little jump in here. You'll notice that the highway thing is flashing, reminding me that maybe I need to switch back to the city. And that's because we're in traffic and I'm slowing down. I'm 31 kilometers an hour here. So my system that I've built is designed to remind you um, that maybe you should be switching back to city mode and re reverse as well when you get on the highway and you start hit drive, traveling at high speeds it'll remind you that maybe you want to switch to highway mode so um, so when this happens just ignore it um, and leave it in highway one quick note here uh, it's been a long time since I have used autopilot in a stop-and-go situation because that's essentially this is the autopilot uh, or navigate on autopilot software that's running while we're on the highway um, and yeah I hadn't used it in quite a while um, in stop and go traffic and this is a vast improvement over the last time um, it was much jerkier before and of course now that I said it I'll probably start feeling that way but uh, but right now it feels much smoother in its ability to deal with the roll, the slowdown, um, you know, slowing down to, to really slow and then sp picking up. It's overall doing, uh, yeah, a much better job. But to be fair, it's been a long time since I've driven in this scenario. Definitely giving Beta a good job and a thumbs up to the guy behind me who let me in. Perfect job at dealing with the traffic and, and changing lanes. Slowed down, turn signal was perfect. Clearly, the guy in the next lane recognized you know, what the intent of the car was, or gal, sorry, uh, in the next lane. So yeah, this was, uh, that was perfect. So I intervened because of the, uh, the lane issues there. And uh, so I just used the turn signal to do that. And then it yelled at me to take over immediately. So that's kind of interesting. And we'll see how beta does here. Um, I'm a little anxious getting into the downtown scenario on this version because the, the lane change decisions haven't been fantastic uh, in my experience so far on this version and so we shall see how it does definitely have to start getting over fairly soon uh, I forgot to go all right so it's not a perfect tracking but at least I saw the reminder from the city thing to move back to city streets. Now we should try to get over soon. Well, that was bad. So I had to intervene there for phantom braking. 
I will report that. that a good job there and, and another good job okay we gotta wait for this pedestrian which is doing well sure why that screen came up okay I'm gonna inter give it a little bit of gas here or gas accelerator a little bit jerky but so Man, these visualizations are amazing, especially with all the people. Super long, the, the articulated bus looks great. So that's interesting. It's inched forward a little once the people cleared the intersection. So it was giving the people extra room, I'm assuming. So, so far, this has done a better job with downtown traffic than last time I was down. Maybe, just maybe, 10.12.2 is starting to smooth out for me. We're getting pretty close to our destination. I don't have a very exact destination in the map, so I will have to take over before I actually get there. That was perfect. I'm giving it another good job. Now it's hesitance waiting for the pedestrian, which is perfect. It's exactly what I want it to do. That's great. Now we are in a turning lane I don't want to be in. Let's see what it'll do. It's gonna... Wait here and... Okay, so it wants to reroute because it made a mistake. So I'm going to disengage. And this is a lane change problem. And I'm gonna manually get over here and we'll probably just end the drive there because I'm pretty much here so I'll hit finish and uh, how did we do so we traveled a total of 25 kilometers 24.96 kilometers 
uh, 6.49 in the city, 18.47 on the highway, 24 minutes, 25 minutes almost. And we had two disengagements, three interventions, and then three good jobs. So overall, you know, really not bad. Um, so definitely see the concentration though. One on the street here, nothing on the highway, and then again, issues, right? as we start getting downtown. But nevertheless, even though there was a bunch of stuff going on here, overall, I gotta say I was pretty impressed. So I'll save that. The data from this trip has now been saved to the database and uh, is part of the FSD beta community tracking data pool. Um, yeah, so that's it for today's drive i hope everybody is having a wonderful day it's a gorgeous beautiful day here i hope it is where you are as well have a good one